I'll share this with you. In 2008, this is, there's history here and I'm not going to get involved in it. There used to be what was called the uptick rule. If you wanted to sell a stock short, there had to, um, there had to be an uptick. You couldn't just sell short because you could drive it down in price. Well, they had an uptick rule put back in back in the 1930s, and it was in place all the way up until 2008. I've been doing this for a while, so I know about what was going on. But I wasn't here in the 1930s, so we'll stop that right now. But here's what happened. They eliminated the uptick rule in 2008, and all of a sudden, stocks could fall faster. And I saw it. I saw it firsthand. Just be, I'll tell you something, folks. Google flash crash. Okay, Google the phrase flash crash, and I'll bet you money there's something in there about 2008 in the uptick rule, okay, because this stuff dropped like a rock in 2008 in one day. So we had to adapt to it. How did we adapt to it? Stocks could just steadily grind up, and everything was great. After the elimination of the uptick rule, stocks could steadily grind up, and also, poof, air pockets. Boom, down they would drop. That was the elimination of the uptick rule. So what do we have to do? It's simple. We adapted. Sell some into strength. I know I say that a lot. But today, as I'm making this video, you see firsthand the efficacy, the effectiveness of selling some into strength. Because if you don't, the whole gain is gone real fast. Real fast. So here we are. Look at n and Runs up, starts to reverse down, sell a little bit into strength, and that really helps you. NVIDIA, right here, several sells into strength, all the way up into here, starts to drop, we sell more. If we hadn't sold, guess what? You're sitting here right now, gave back most of your gains. We don't do that. I've got a little alert going off right now. They're safe, folks. What do we do? We sold some into strength. Why? Because of the uptick rule and because of a sloppy market. We're not going to lose on that animal. That's the way we do it. Here we go. Visa starts to go, pulls back a little bit, lock it in. Tesla, there was, you know, there was no big gain on this, so you couldn't do anything with it that, that great, okay? MasterCard starts to run up and fades off. Nothing there. Hang on, I got a limit alert going off. What is this? Facebook. Here we go starting to drop. We owned this, folks. We owned this in here. Go back and look. Right through here. And it started a lift. And then when it started to roll over, what do we do? We sold some into strength or sold some for profits. And if we hadn't, see that buy spot right there? Guess what? You're now losing money. We made money on it. All right. You can say, oh, not a lot. Oh, we made money. We made money and it beats the heck out of losing. All right, that's just the cold hard facts. Den, nothing there. Let's see, restoration hardware. Locks some in in good shape. Entry right here. Safe bulk. Starts to lift, not much cushion. What do you do? You sell some, here we go. I'm just looking at these. I've got Amazon going off right now. Sells. So buy right here. I mean, folks, this is, an, this is a great move. Look at this. And we were selling up here. So now we're not going to sell at the top. Liars sell at the top. Okay. But we're going to sell some up into here and make money. And you know what? That's good because the stock's fallen dang near 100 points from where we were selling some. There you go. It works. See that reversal bar right here? Look at this. It gaps up and runs up and reverses down, then drops. Look at this bar. Drops down, runs all the way back up to old highs drop. We're selling into that bar, folks. You can say, so so what's the big deal? Oh, the big deal is about 100 points. That's a, you know, that 100 points, 100 points. You can say, well, it's a $3,000 stocks. 100 points is 100 points. I don't care what the price is. The selling into strength makes a huge difference for us. A huge difference. MasterCard starts to lift, pulls back, walk away. Why? So you don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. Let's see if I got anything else in here. Hold on a second. I don't want to harp on this too much. ASH started to go, lift it up, started to fade, walk away from it. The philosophy of selling some 
makes all the difference in the world for making money. It helps us. It helps us. VNOM. We sold twice for small gains. Okay. I'd rather sell for much bigger gains, but you know what? I'd rather sell for a small gain than not sell at all and see the thing disappear. And I end up selling it for a loss. We've locked in small profits. We are in great shape. It works. It works like a champ. Let me see if I got anything else here. SSO started to go. Now this one we sold for a small loss, but it's good we sold because look at it now. Ran up yesterday on heavy volume. Lifts starts to fall. What do we do? We sold some earlier today at 111.21 when it started to fall. And that really helped us. So what's the moral of the story? Selling some into strength guarantees profits. Selling some into strength because we know we are guaranteed profits helps us relieve stress. Relieving stress or being less stressful leads to better decision making. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.